Hey bro, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you see neat attention issue in your Google Ads account, then you should watch this video full because in this video, I'll show you step by step how we can solve this problem. And before solve this problem, first we have to understand why we see this problem. Okay, so if you hover this uh, here, you can see here is two problem. One is tag inactive, another one is enhanced conversion has no recent data. Tag inactive why? Because uh, maybe you don't run uh, ads campaign yet, or maybe you run ads campaign but you don't get sales from your Google Ads campaign. That's why you can see here is tag inactive, or maybe your uh, trigger condition is wrong. But everything is uh, good, but still you can see here enhanced conversion has no recent data. How you can solve this? Uh, to solve this, you have to send user information to Google Ads. Uh, user information means when someone purchases your product from your website, they have some information like their first name, last name, user information like email, phone number. So we have to send this kind of information to Google Ads. Then we can see this problem is solved. How we can send user information to Google Ads? If your website met by WordPress, then fantastic. Or if your website met by Shopify, then still you can do that same thing. Uh, to send user information to Google Ads through Google Tag Manager, first we have to create Google Tag Manager account. Then we need to connect Google Tag Manager account with our website. And after connect Google Tag Manager account, we have to enable data layer. Because after enabling data layer, when user purchases our product, we can uh, track extra information from our customer. Like we can track their first name, last name, email, and then we can send this data to Google Ads. And then we can see our problem is solved okay so how we can do that i know you can easily create google tag manager account so after create google tag manager account you have to just copy your code uh, because we need to connect google tag manager account with our website and let me show you how you can enable data layer because data layer is important part here to send user information on google ads if your website met by wordpress that's fantastic because in this video i'm going to show you through wordpress website how you can send user information to google ads to solve this problem like need attention issue okay so first you have to go your website backend and select plugin section if you click new like add plugin you can see here is search option here you have to search like uh, gtm4 wp plugin gtm4 wp plugin it's a good plugin you can use this plugin to enable data layer on your wordpress website so we have to just install then active this plugin after install this plugin if you scroll down here and hover on your setting option you can see here is another option that is google tag manager you have to just select this option and then here you can see google tag manager id like enter your uh, google tag manager id here that means this id i just copy this id here and just paste okay after paste here scroll down select save and change and then you have to select integration option and then woocommerce select track e-commerce this option and scroll down here you can see another option customer data in data layer you have to also enable this option because it's an important part here and then scroll down select save and change okay now google tag manager is already connected with our website now you have to go preview mode from your google tag manager account <coughs> then click on connect okay we can see tag assistant is connected and if i go tag assistant here you can see our content is properly connected with our website to test purpose we have to first purchase any product to see user information in data layer and then we need to create some data layer variable and then send this user information to google ads okay you can see my product purchasing is complete now if i go tag assistant and here we can see purchase event is a show if i select purchase event and if i uh, select data layer we can see some customer information here like customer billing first name last name company an address address to city state code country email this kind of information we can see here right we have to pick this information and then send google ads through uh, our gtm how we can do that to send this information in google ads first uh, let's create google ads conversion tracking first 
to create Google Ads purchase conversion, first we have to create one trigger for purchase event. Okay, so let me show you how you can do that. Just select custom event, and here you need to select uh, this event name like data layer post even is purchase and paste this event name here then if you want you can write your trigger name like purchase trigger okay then save this trigger like i want to track purchase uh, conversion for google ads okay when someone purchase our product we can easily track them and i'll show you how you can also send user information with this tag okay our trigger creation done now we need to create tag for google ads so go tag section click on new tag configuration here you have to select google ads then first uh, create conversion linker tag because it's important tag for google ads conversion tracking as we know so let's create this after that we need purchase conversion so select google ads conversion tracking and then here we have to put our conversion id so i need to go my google ads account then select this conversion then scroll down select tag setup use tag manager copy conversion id and just paste here your conversion id and now you can see here is no tag found in container to fix this click on create tag and you can see here is already created so just save this tag then we can see it's fixed yeah right then here we need to like put conversion label to put conversion label just copy your conversion label code from your google ads then paste here conversion label and now we can see here conversion value we have to put here our conversion value variable to create this variable click this plus icon click new variable configuration you have to select here data layer variable and variable name you need to put here from tag assistant like it's a conversion value so to pick conversion value from data layer first we have to pick uh, like we need to copy e-commerce and paste here e-commerce then enter dot and copy value yes copy value paste here like it's our conversion value and save this variable and here you can write dl value i mean data layer value okay then we need transaction id same thing just plus icon new and configuration select data layer variable to pick transaction id first we have to copy e-commerce and paste here e-commerce you have to add here dot to pick transaction id copy transaction id and paste here transaction id code i mean data layer name then you need to write here your data layer name like i like to write here dl then transaction id and then save this variable and it's will automatic uh, selected now we need to another one variable for currency code so again we need to select data layer variables to pick currency code first we have to copy e-commerce then add dot here then currency okay looks good save this right currency currency okay our variable creation done uh, or our everything is done now we need to select triggering purchase so it's our basic setup and if you set up like this still you can see uh, 
this problem in your Google Ads account like need attention issue. To fix this, we have to pick also this information like user information as I told you uh, to starting time in this video. So how we can create this in user information data variable? First, let's save this tag like it's a Google Ads purchase purchase tag okay so now here is the main thing we need to create another some variable to pick user information i mean customer information so go first variable section and select user defined variable and data layer select here we have to pick first some information to pick here like we need first customer first name so copy direct customer first name from here and paste here customer uh, customer first name then save your variable with your name like uh, customer first name so i like to add here customer first name so we need another some variable i like to copy this variable to make this video fast uh, copy last name and change here last name and here also last name save this variable we need more information like um, address one so copy customer billing address one i like to copy this uh, variable again copy it also copy here paste here and we need city so copy this city and create some variable like this because we need to pass this information to google ads for that we need some dlb variable i mean data layer variable okay so let me create here for billing state or we need billing state okay and now we need postal code also and we can copy here also rename this one and if you need my help to fix this issue you can whatsapp me definitely i will help you so don't worry about it you can just message me anytime and i like to help you so copy this one also and oh no 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 so paste user information like use customer billing email okay almost everything is done we don't need anything else now your job is go gtm and create another one user um, user provided data variable and select here email like we create for customer billing email and phone number here you have to select uh, oh no we need also phone number so if i see yes we need also this variable in our gtm so please close this and create new variable for user phone number and paste here this one also here okay now we can create user provided data variable like um, yes this one and here select your email address select your phone number and first name first name where are our first name last name first name select last name state you have to select state like uh, this one then you can select city region means address yes country postal code okay 
almost done right mm, screen, let me check yes everything looks good now we can save our this variable and we can send this information now google ads easily how you can do that let's see to send this information google ads first you have to go tag section so please open your tag section and select your google ads purchase tag here we need to send and select this option i mean click on here then you can see here this option like include user provided data from your website select this option and just select this variable and in this variable we have user information like their name first name last name email address this kind of all information include with this variable so we select here and just save it okay our job is complete now we can submit our container now we can submit our container and after running ads campaign i mean yes after running ads campaign within 24 hour your problem will be solved you can see your problem is solved after 24 hour i mean after running your ads campaign then you can see here is no any issue we already have sent we already sent user information to enhance our conversion okay also if you can't send user information how we can solve this problem you can just off enhance conversion in a google ads campaign so just click on settings edit settings and just edit settings here you can see enhance conversion you can easily i mean if you want to solve this problem without sending user information you can just uncheck this and just save it after that your problem will be solved but it's not recommended because google need user information to optimize your ad campaign more properly okay so you should send user information to google ads it's recommended okay so i hope this video is helpful for you if you think this video is good then you should like this video share with your friend and you can subscribe to my channel for more helpful content thanks for watching